Welcome back everyone. In the previous video, we learned about the traffic light signal and also about the traffic light library. Like I mentioned in the previous video, here in this video, I will be making the same traffic light signal with the help of RGB LED with new concept and new coding. So first thing first, let's see the component required. So these are my components. You are seeing the RGB LED which has four leg. The longer one is for brown and the other one is for red, green and blue. We also need three resistor of 220 ohm, one buzzer, push button and breadboard with some connecting wires. So let's see the connections. So firstly I am going to connect the RGB LED on my breadboard. And then 220 ohm resistor with the series of each leg except the ground one. Now connect the ground pin with negative part of the breadboard and connect the push button and also ground it with the negative part of the breadboard now I am going to connect the red pin with GPIO 17 green with GPIO 27 and blue with GPIO 22 Now connect the push button with GPIO 14. And finally the buzzer. I am connecting the shorter leg with negative part of the breadboard and positive at any point. And then connect the buzzer. with pin number 2. Finally, connect the whole circuit with the negative part or ground of the Raspberry Pi. So, this is my connection. Now, let's move to the interface for further coding. Okay, so this is my python cell, create a new file and let me save it first. RGB LED. Firstly, I am going to import the GPIO pins of Raspberry Pi. And why I am doing this because I want to set my pins for the output and input purpose and for that I have to call the GPIO pins. So import rpi.gpio as GPIO and also import the time sorry slip from time library. Now I am writing GPIO dot set mode GPIO BCM 
why I have done this, I am setting the mode of my board. And here my board is Broadcom. So that's why I have written here the BCM. Now, when you run the file, you get the error. And to fix that error, I am writing GPIO dot set warnings. And it will tell you to set it for false. Now I am going to set my pins. Uh, that means which pin I want to set for output and input purpose. So I am writing GPIO dot set up 14. My 14 is connected with my push button which is for input purpose. Let me copy this. Paste here. Here comes the 2 as my 2 as my GPIO 2 has been connected with buzzer which is for output. again and the remaining pins I'm setting for my RGB LED so I'm writing here 17 which is connected with red pin this is also for the output paste again 27 is for green LED Again, and 22 is for blue LED. Now, as we know that traffic signal has red, yellow and green. But my RGB has only red, green and blue. So, from where we get the yellow color? For getting the yellow color, I am defining the functions. So let me define the functions first for red color. For red, as red is already on the RGB, GPIO dot output 17 1. As red is already on my RGB, and that's why I have taken here 1 to be in on state copy this paste again here comes the 27 and I am putting the green one on the off state and blue one also on the off state so this is so this is my function for the red color now I am defining the function for my yellow color and for yellow when I mix the red and green you will get the yellow color. Sorry here comes the zero and yes when you mix the red and green you will get the yellow color. For yellow color copy this. here and yes here comes the one now I'm going to define the green color and for green you have to put the green pin on on state And finally, I am putting all the LED on the off state. The LED off. Yes. So here I have defined the four function for red, yellow, green and finally to turn off all the LED. Now define the condition for your RGB LED. I am initializing it with my loop. 
and I'm giving the command that when I get the input from the push button, my RGB LED will glow according to my command. So if GPIO dot input of pin 14 is true then I will get the following my red will turn off this will turn off for two seconds and then my yellow color function this will also be turn off for two second and then the green color function this will also turn on for the two second and finally I am calling the buzzer GPIO dot output of my buzzer pin which is connected with two and here comes the one as one represent my on and off on state sorry this buzzer will then glow for four second and then turn off and finally I'm calling the LED off function to turn off the LED save the file and run it push your button red yellow and green and guess the buzzer so that was my traffic light signal with rgb led these are some of various ways to control the circuitry through RPi. Programming and tinkering with the electronics is little bit dry at the beginning. But with practice, it can be mastered. Believe me on that. Practicing alone would lead you with full of new ideas to try out with RPi. I will leave you with that here and see you in the next.